Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome back to Series Makers where last time out I think it's safe to say that we had very mixed results. If we look through here at our series history, last time we created this here, this was a masterpiece of televisual programming, Peter Pajama the Llama Farmer. It, it sounds brilliant, I would totally watch this and it got an average of 8.5 which is very good and it got a little shiny golden star. However, we then proceeded to make two total duds, two awful, awful things. So we made You're a Wizard, Barry, and Romulus and Remus and Bernard, the concept of which I thought was pretty strong. But they both got an average of 4.75, which was not very good. And in fact, I think it was Romulus and Remus and Bernard. We did that for a, a commission and it didn't reach the target sort of uh, average. So we didn't get paid the big sacks of money, which was a bit of a shame, but never mind. So there were reasons why these failed. I think You're a Wizard, Barry, was because the setting sort of uh, the setting and theme combo was bad so it was magicians in a city and magicians aren't allowed in cities in this game <laughs> you're not allowed a magician to live in a city if you are a magician and you live in a city get out now and Romulus and Remus and Bernard was because we'd done that combination before so in the 10 year 10 year seven month history of our studio we dared once again to do a historical drama and it came back and bit us on the bottom so there we go that's why they were bad so today we have a few goals. I've got a few things that I want to get done. Number one, I want to get out of this crummy little studio. We have to get out of here. At some point, we must escape this place. It's driving me mad. It's got VHS cassettes and we're learning HD technology. It just does not compute. And number two, we are going to research some new settings. Because if I go to here and go into research, this got pointed out to me in the comments of the previous video several times. And I don't really know how I missed this. I don't know. There's a thing here called setting school. In my brain, I don't know what that kind of, what, what I read that to mean, but I was like, setting school? I don't know what that means. What's being set in a school? But no, this thing here, I assume, will add another little button up here, which will allow us to get different settings, which is something I've wanted, because I've only got a choice of six, which is very, very good. So I think we're going to get this now. 30 research points, 200 grand, which is fine. We can afford to do this right now. It's all good. So we'll do that. So you can research that and... Another thing we want to do is, how do we go about creating a new protagonist? Because I've been saying for maybe the past couple of bits, oh, I need to create a new protagonist, and I just keep forgetting. It's time to get someone new in. And we want somebody who's brave. We want the all-action hero. Hank is the charming, kind of happy comedian sort of guy. Back at you, she is sort of intelligent and bright and sort of lovely like that. We need someone who's brave. We need an all-action hero. So let's create ourselves a protagonist. So we've got, actually, we've got lots of people. Hang on, I couldn't do this before because I had no designers. Oh, no, there we go. It, it limits it to it limits it limits to the actual designers. Okay, that's fine. Right, so what are we going to do? Choose a designer. Let's pick you, Harrison, because you're level nine. You've got 99 in the sort of creative sort of style things. So, yes, choose a designer to let him create a protagonist. Keep the designer's attributes in mind. Well, they're all better than the other designer, so that will do. But the only thing is, this is a little bit disappointing. I will admit, I want to be in control of this. <laughs> I want to do the designing. I want to create the protagonist. Right, setting school is done. Can we please pick a new setting? Where is setting school? I want to, I want more settings. Someone allow me to have more settings before I go mad. Um, let's research another couple of these. Now, there's also some talk in the comments of what to do with these multiple things now. Because in the last one, I was getting very confused. Because when you go to create a production, it's it's got the technology bit that comes up. And we've got stuff, I can't remember what they are now, but like on sound, it's got simple sound and then half good sound and then professional sound. And they're all different numbers and they're all different costs. And I don't know what to pick. And a few people have said, pick the most expensive one. And a few people have said, <laughs> said pick the one which sounds the best. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. I think... Let's get ourselves facilities. I don't even know what that is. It's 150k. It's the, pretty much the rest of our research points, but that's fine. We will do that. I'm also intrigued to see our new protagonist. Oh, oh, they are brave. They've come up trumps. You, well done. You've created the exact perfect one that we want. Right. It is uh, a male protagonist. That's the male symbol, isn't it? <laughs> I'm never really sure. Um, yeah. Let, well, hang on a minute. Let, I'm going to go and check. 
Yes, indeed, that is the male symbol. It's had to go and check. Apparently, that's called the Mars symbol, and the female one with the downward pointing arrow is called the Venus symbol. I never knew that. I've learned something today, and I've renamed them. <laughs> I've renamed them because they're the all action hero. I've renamed them Tim Bruce, which is in no way like a sort of a familiar sort of action hero who's possibly might be called Tom and Cruz and who's short. But yeah, that's fine. So we're going to call him Tim Bruce because he bruises the baddies when he sort of gives them a good, you know, punch to the kisser and all that kind of stuff. So Tim Bruce has now been created. Now the only thing about this now is that we are going to be potentially putting him into things where people aren't going to know who he is. So it might not be great for that. Right, you can now buy facilities. They either increase the quality of your series or unlock new mechanics. Pen just finished a research of facilities. Okay, oh hang on, there's a facility just here. What is this? Green screen, <laughs> a massive sound system or staff management. That is rather expensive. Staff management is quite costly. However, I would like both of those. I'd love a green screen and a massive sound system. <laughs> that would be fun. Right, let's do one of these commissioned thingamajiggers. Let's do one of these. Uh, that pays the most, so let's go and do that, shall we? Um, right, okay. Uh, yes, let's accept this from Tropico, because it pays the big bucks. And a minimum rating of five. Right, so a director. We will pick me hopefully where have i gone there i am lovely lovely pick a technology kit it's the best one we've got and then pick a theme so it's set in a school i mean that's potentially quite limiting um <laughs> what do you put in a school uh, does animation go with anything particularly i don't really know cyber a dance dance in a school might go quite well that's surely got to be a good thing dance in a school that's got to be a good thing. I mean, you know, there are certainly things that are worse, like pirates in a school. I don't think that would work. Time travel in a school. Sitcom in a school? That might work okay. That might be quite good. We could put our comedian person in it. We can put Hank Vader in as the sitcom in a school. Because the other sitcom was set in the city, was it? So we're not repeating that. How about we have a sitcom in a school? A school sitcom. Uh, okay, right. We need to give it a name. Do you know what? This actually might be a vaguely plausible sitcom name. How to train your children. Because yeah, that's a, in a school. That's what happens in a school. They get trained in things. And it could be quite funny, like a sitcom. Like, you know, How I Met Your Mother. It's kind of that sort of thing. That's actually a vaguely plausible one that we've come up with. Better than Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Pizza Delivery Service, whatever it was. That's it. Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Pizzas. That is actually vaguely plausible. So let's see how we get on with this. I, I really hope we can just get a big load of cash from this. So we'll get a load of research points, which is good. Um, fame, I'm not going to bother boosting this one. I might boost the next one. I might go and do a great big commercial thing on our next one that we make, which is going to be our own one. Now, the only thing is... Settings. I didn't see anything that lets me unlock extra settings. We got settings school, but I don't know where the settings are. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Let's just quickly check research. Research a theme. That's it. Where, where were the settings things? I'm not entirely sure where they were. So we'll have to sort of look for that. Maybe it'll come up at some other point. I don't really know. I don't really know. Maybe it's when we make our own series rather than do a commissioned one, which we have to do after this anyway. Right. Humour, very important. Action, down. Complexity, maybe down to, say, 15%. So it's all humour. There's a little bit of action. I don't know where the action is in a sitcom. Maybe someone runs after the, I don't know, an ice cream van or something. And then complexity, a little bit complex, because, you know, you want a little bit of sort of interplay between the characters. So, yes, that will do the job just fine. We'll have that, please. Okay, please be good. Please be good. <laughs> we need this to be good. However, we are also absolutely rocking up on the research points. Look at that. 90, we have over 100. They're getting so many research points. This is brilliant. This is what we need. Because we want to unlock these facilities, which is going to be very, very useful. But also, we can train our staff up again to the next tier. That's kind of the goal. Right. So in this, we're going to need Hank. We're going to need Happy Hank Vader, who's only level three. Bakatu's level five. Come on. I suppose, actually, Bakatu has been used 16 times. Hank has been used seven times. So Hank is woefully underused. You're just not appreciated, Hank. So let's see if Happy Hank can make a difference to this. So there we go. Hank is in the comedy smiley face of Hank. Look at all the style points it's just winning just then. Really, now the writing is letting us down. <laughs> we need people that are better at writing, please. Penge can't do this anymore. And the style, I suppose, is going to go through the roof because there's two of you doing that very well. But uh, yeah, camera work. Claire, Claire is amazing at the camera work. Well done, Claire. You are just brilliant. Good job. 
We've got almost 200 research points. Okay, here we go. This is where it's going to get all very confusing. Right, Harrison into there. You're the designer as well. Sound, Jim. Direct T. Penge. Uh, Claire, camera. Okay, this is where it's getting all a bit confusing. Screening is fine. 16 tonight. Yeah, we'll keep that. I think... We're going to put it down to professional camera V1. Because I've had, uh, so in the comments on the previous video, there were two sort of groups of people. One said, pick the most expensive one, which doesn't help in this particular situation. They said, pick the most expensive one, it's clearly the best. Whereas other people said, don't pick the most expensive one, pick the one which sounds the best. So in this regards, you've got simple sound, advanced sound, and professional sound. Now I would say of those, professional sound sounds the best but it's also the cheapest. But I think probably it's the higher quality thing. So when we build our next technology kit, I will be sure not to include these things in because we don't need them in. We've kind of built those into this technology kit and we just don't need them there, there's no point. So we'll go for professional sound and professional camera, version one. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting version two of those done if we can. So we'll go for that, please. Yeah, tot those things up. Oh, our story now is so lacking. We need to get better story writing, please. <laughs> Penge, book your ideas up, Sonny. Go do some better story writing, please. Right, there's quite a lot of mistakes in how to train your children. Hello, boss. We truly need a better internet connection. Could we make it the, the costs account 100... 100... Is that 100,000? Or is that 100 pounds with three decimals? Uh, yeah, fine. Do a better internet connection. Go for it. Absolutely. Now, so this is one of those weird things. What would happen if I said no? Does our productivity go down? There are now researchers. Big projects. Ah, right. So now we can do our own big projects. That is interesting. We've also got 200 research. Is that, is that a peak? Can we not get any more? No, there you go. No, they've gone over 200. I don't know if it just sort of stopped there and stalled. Right. I think they've done all they can do on this. Yeah, we get oh, an extra story bit came out. That's quite useful. Right, it's done. It's done. Uh, you lot can also go on vacation for a bit. Have a little rest, why don't you? Let's see how this went. Right, a new setting, plus 60%. That's exciting. Oh, is a school a new setting? Ah, okay, right. Maybe they are in there then, but we just couldn't see the new settings because it was a commissioned thing rather than our own work. Paint has gone up to level 23. <laughs> well done. Screening has gone. I'll just get on with it. Yeah, there we go. People have all leveled up and stuff has happened. Yay, lots of lots of stuff happened. Okay, broadcast this. Yay, Hank has gone up. We've got 12 points. Put Get you up to 25 with happy and then you can be a bit brave and you can get at least intelligence 10. But you can be proper super happy. There we go. Right, please be good. Oh no, I fear the worst. <laughs> I fear the worst. It's... <gasps> Oh my goodness me. The setting thing combination school sitcom was not so good. Why? Why can you not have a sitcom in a school? Why not? Well, it could have been about the teachers. The hilarious lives of teachers. The team was bad. The story was amazing. The director Penge was awesome. The team was bad. You can get Bauer. You can get clear off. How rude. My team worked wonders on this and you bought the average down. We could have had an eight if you hadn't been such a stubborn person. You irritating man. The report can now be created by my staff. Uh, you've reached the minimum rating and the TV station is happy. And we've got all sorts of research to do as well. Right, okay. Research. Uh, oh yeah, we've got big projects we can do now. 120 research points. Good grief. Uh, let's get professional camera V4 and professional sound V3. Uh, yeah, that might be... That might be quite good. Running gas. That's so expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive. Right. Yeah. Let's get that in. Let's get the cameras in. I do want to get some of these things. Like that's 80k. 40 research points for whatever commissions might be. I can still see no way of getting more settings unless they appear, unless I've just been given a whole big handful of them. So we don't have to research them. We just get given them. So let's go for, let's go for professional camera V4. Again, I don't know what the difference is between multi-camera and professional camera. They seem to be sort of mutually exclusive to each other. So let's get ourselves professional camera V4 at great expense to our research points. Uh, Harrison, you're not doing anything at the minute. Can you do some research as well, please? Could you please get us professional sound V3? That's 50 research points, 30k, but I think it's very better than the others. Although we probably could have surround sound and stereo. So let's say again. Again, do I need both of those? I don't really know. You can do that. 
and we might need to research a new theme because we may well have come to the end of our themes. A love theme. That might work. I love the pyramids. <laughs> the pyramids is so specific. Hospital. Yes. Let's get a hospital thing in. Absolutely. We'll do that. This is all good. Right. And red. What can you research? We've got 68 research points left. We might as well use them on something. Motivation boost for the screening? I mean, that might be worth doing. Ah, no, hang on, hang on. Let's get one of these things in. Let's buy ourselves a facility for, we can buy both of them. And we'd still be left with a million monies. Let's get green screen. Oh, it is, it is a green screen. <laughs> There's no denying it, it's very green. Right, we've done lots of research. You're going to need some holidays. We've done hospitals. You can go on vacation. You've done professional cameras. We're installing the green screen. This is exciting. This is a shiny new thing. I like this. Right, do that. Green screen is finished. Good. Okay. Can we add another facility? Is that it? Oh, we, we had shot uh, one facility. Was that it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, well, there we go. That's the green screen in. <laughs> I thought we maybe could have added two, but never mind. Okay, right. Uh, right, let's get on with something, shall we? Um, 48 research points. Is there anything else we need to research? I'll click there. Right there. Um, we could get commissions, even though I thought we'd already got commissions, which I don't fully understand. Um, we could go for target audience might be worth getting. Maybe we could start doing something with target audience and try and focus more in on getting more viewers. Something like that. I don't really know. I do want to get this motivation boost at the screening for 40 research points. It doesn't leave us with much else after it. So let's go for that. Let's go for that. We'll see what that does. I probably will not take that long to do. Yeah, it doesn't take long to do the actual research stuff. Okay, bing, you've done that. Right, we need... Oh, Claire needs to go on a holiday. Of course, Claire does. She's not been away for an hour. Right, go, Claire. Come on, chop, chop. Get back on... Get, get, get back here. Back in the office. There we go. Right, let's make a new series. Okay, settings. Right. Oh, I see. Right. So the setting school wasn't a school where you go and learn lots of different settings. It literally was a setting, which is school. Right, I see. Right, okay, that's just clicked into place in my terribly useless brain. That is not the most useful of things, I'll be honest. All the settings in the world we could have, and, and it's added a school, <laughs> okay. Right, well, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, new series. Right, well, let's pick the, um, the hospital wherever that's gone. We did just unlock hospital, didn't we? Where is it? There, hospital and H. Yep, there we go. Right, director can be me. Move me over. That's annoying, isn't it? So move me over. Uh, technology kit will have to be shiny tech. TV stations. Oh, we can unlock all these exciting things, but we just don't have the money. We could do this. We could do DNN. We'd have to spend 500 k We'd spend 700 k on that. Let's just sort of outline it as it is now. What if we did a medium one of those? It'd be a million. Pick a setting. So we're in a hospital. I mean, really, a city is the only one that works. I'd love to do a space hospital, but I imagine the game is going to go, ah, ah, no, you can't do that. Hospitals in space are a terrible idea. So a hospital in a city, uh, it's going to cost a million to make. But then that is because we're doing 700k on this. So we're buying the license to broadcast on DNN. And then the broadcast cost just for itself is 200k. So we need to make at least 200k on this. However, how to train your children is going absolutely great guns. 108k last time out. So yeah, that should keep us going for a bit. So I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, we'll have that. Right, it's going to cost a bit. This We've got to pin all our hopes on this. Everything has to go into this. So what are we going to call this? A hospital city drama. We're going to call it, damn it, Jim, I'm a surgeon, not a doctor. Because it's all about somebody who's got a friend called Jim who keeps calling them a doctor. Whereas really the main character is a surgeon. That That's kind of the theme. I mean, it's a loose premise for a series, but do you know what? It'll probably be fine. So let's begin production of, damn it, Jim, I'm a surgeon, not a doctor. A hospital city program. It's going to cost a bit of monies. So yeah, already look. That is very expensive. We have bought the license for that particular channel, though. And How to Train Your Children is rocking the money. Look at it. It's bringing in vast swathes of cash. And that is very good. I like that. Yeah, that's going to keep us absolutely afloat while we do this. That is going to keep us going. The amount of fans is very, very good for this. Look at this. It's got, it's got so many viewers. Right. Now, the only thing is, I don't really know what to do with this. I don't imagine we need that much humour with this, although I would like a bit more than 10%. So let's have that. 
I imagine maybe action might come down a bit. I think the way I read this, action is kind of, you know, shooting with guns, things exploding, people smashing through windows and fight scenes. So, you know, car chases. That's kind of how I read this. So uh, maybe rushing through a hospital with, you know, pushing somebody on a trolley. Does, does that count of action as action? I, I don't really know. I'm not sure how this works. I'm quite happy with that mix. In fact, let, let's just, let, I lied a bit. Let's bring that down. Let's have 20% humor, a little bit tongue in cheek humor, a little bit of action. Yeah, maybe that is the action. They run through the, uh, they run through the hospital with somebody on a, on a, you know, a hospital gurney, are they called? I don't know, whatever they're called, the hospital bed things. And they're going, oh my goodness, what happened? Quick, we need 15 milligrams of hyperphrenoline. Start! And that kind of stuff. So yeah, I quite like that. And then it's a bit complex. Let's go down that route. Yes, okay, that will probably do. When do we deploy the green screen? I'm quite excited to deploy the green screen. I want to see how that works. I want to know what happens with that. Oh, look at this. I think we might need to get big projects next time because the big projects generate the bigger scores. Our writing is just so shoddy. I might have to have a level pen jump at that point. Uh, right, so we need we need complicated stuff. So we need Bakachu in. The absolute legend that is Bakachu, who was last seen in Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Pizzas. <laughs> this is a, a drastic change of pace, but yes, okay, fine. We'll have Bakachu in. <laughs> Ah, oh, how to train your children is still raking in the cash. This is very encouraging. So look, it's really, it's now it's not quite paying for the staff, but it's doing very, very well. Facility cost. We pay 8K for this, for this green screen. What do we do with it? What on earth do we do with that? How do we even deploy the green screen? <laughs> I don't know how to use it. It doesn't say how to use the green screen. <laughs> it just says green screen and we have one. Well, what does it do? When do we use it? I don't understand. Right, that the designers, sound designers, it'd be good if it remembered these, if I'm completely honest. It would be nice if it remembered these. Our writing is just so bad. We just need to get the writing sorted. Uh, yeah, map with those, professional camera, professional sound. Yeah, do whatever this stuff does. Oh, the writing is just terrible. It looks beautiful. It's well shot. It's got good sound. It's got, yeah, it's got full of style and the words are a little bit kind of naff, but never mind. Be good if we get that to say 175 by the end of this. That would be nice. Oh, there we go. That was good. <laughs> Hooray. Now I've got to iron out all the mistakes. So get rid of all those errors. Right. And can we do some very quick, oh, we could just do radio marketing. Look, Small campaign, 500K. Let's just do some radio marketing for that because 80 grand, it's 80 grand. We'll get that back in no time. Right, here we go. Hey boss, some fans created a fan game to our series Housewives of Alpha Centauri. We could just let them continue or we sue and maybe get some money. Do you know what? I, I'm fine. Just roll, roll with it. It's all good. Yeah, just carry on. We got some fans. That's all lovely. I'm sure that might come back later to bite me on the bottom. But for now, it's all good. Right. I think we're just going to have to say it's finished. Yep, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Go. Launch, I think. Oh, they had an extra style point at the end. Professional Sound V4 is available. Please be good. New theme. An awesome combination. We did well with the combo. Hurrah. <laughs> right. All the things can pop up. Lots of people have leveled up. Right. Broadcast this. Bakachu did very well. A little bit more popularity. Please give us some good numbers. <laughs> this bit makes me nervous. And... <gasps> Oh my gosh, tis the best thing we've ever produced. <laughs> he gave it a 10. He gave it a 10. Sebastian Stangi, I'm sure they're not pronounced, they don't pronounce it like that, but you know, Sebastian Stangi, th this was the finest thing that's ever been created. Wow. Even Andre liked it. The director page was really good. The protagonist, Bakachu, was meh. I, I could not have put anyone better in than Bakachu. Bakachu was fantastic, Jochen Gebauer. You can clear off. And the team was terrific. We've created a masterpiece. Damn it, Jim. Damn it, Jim. I'm a surgeon, not a doctor. Is is our finest televisual achievement. I don't know why, but okay. Right, we can do a report. So that will go away. Right, okay. We've got a couple of reports. I don't think I did the last one. Right, how to train your children. Uh, and also a serious report on damn it, Jim. I am a surgeon. Right. Oh, they get some research points. Of course, they do from doing that. Oh, look at the view. We're going to make quite a lot of money off that, I hope. Yeah, 72k. So not as much as we could because it's only a smaller project. Um, city hospitals is a perfect combo. Yes. Sitcom school is a bad combination. Oh, see... So See, this this I disagree with. Sitcoms in schools. Why not? Why can't you have a sitcom in a school? I don't know why that's a bad combination. Right. We've got some stuff. 
Can we train me? Train me up. It's a little bit self-aggrandizing, isn't it? But next skill level four, 80 research points. That's going to cost a big chunk of research points. But let's train me up to the next level. And over the course of, you know, whatever we do, we'll slowly start doing this. We'll slowly start getting, uh, getting more people leveled up again. Now we've got a million... A million monies. This is going to slowly start bringing in the money. How about we just get ourselves commissions? I don't know what the difference is between what we've got now as commissions and this one here. So let's get this. Let's go, yes, commissions. Harrison, you can research ourselves a new theme. What shall we have? Sports, pyramids, racing, love, airplanes, martial arts. Medieval martial arts or historical martial arts, whatever. That would go very well. Yes, I mean, it, it could be conceived as similar to ninjas aliens i've just seen aliens aliens <laughs> aliens yay there we go just have aliens immediately that's what we want right uh claire everyone has finished research commissions lovely lovely we've got aliens done come on mr penge do your training a bit quicker type more quicker on the keyboard quicker 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 and yay done okay now one thing i don't know is how do we get out of this damn office somebody let me out i've just created a mega series Somebody please, I want to leave this place. <laughs> Surely there is a bigger office. Surely there's a bigger, better office. I just don't know how to get there. Uh, right, commissions. Oh, we've got things. What's this? An, an adult film? Oh my goodness, we're not gonna go down that route. <laughs> a YouTube campaign. Oh, this might be a fun thing to, or a trailer. Oh, let's try one of these. Damn it, Jim, I'm a, I'm a surgeon, not a doctor. He's absolutely raking the cash in. Let's do this, shall we? Let's just do a fun little thing. We need that in eight weeks, and it's going to give us 385 grand. I absolutely think we can do that. We can get that in eight weeks. Yeah, come on, folks. We'll get that in no time at all. They're, oh, they're coming down. Ah, so they're the numbers that come down. We're getting research points. Oh, we'll be absolutely fine with that. Yep. Yeah. No worries at all that we'll get that. We're not even halfway through. Okay, the writing is a little bit slow, actually. Could we do some more of the writing points? <laughs> It'll be good if we could do that. We've got 2.4 million monies. I wonder if we move out of here when we get a certain amount of money. I wonder if we get a particular cash value and then it goes, right, okay, you're now worth this much. You can clear off. Okay, maybe we're not going to do this on account of the writing side of things. Can we all just work on the writing? Everything else is done. You don't need to do camera work. I like it, Kitty, but we're big fans of general practitioner whom. We currently sit at a Netflix university and would like to make a fan movie about it. Is this okay? Yeah, got yeah, rock on. I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, we're gonna fail this thing because of the writing, because everyone is doing other things. We don't need the style points. We don't need the style. We need the sound and the writing, please. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna get fined. That's massive. We didn't do the sound. Oh, we only just did the sound. That is very disappointing. Oh, and project with a K. Project goal not achieved. However, it did ah, it did highlight to me the fact that everybody is tired. So let's send all the people on vacation. All of you have a holiday. You've done very well. Good job. Right, you can do some research. Okay, what shall we research? Target audience. We've got so many sound things to research. Running gag is very expensive. Interactive story is quite expensive. We could get both of those in. Or do we go for something like this? Target, yeah, let's get that. I don't know what that does, but let's get that. So you can research this. I do want another facility thing, but we can't have one, which is a little bit annoying. I'd like the big sound system, whatever it was. <laughs> but never mind. Right, so we've got ourselves eventually target audience. Whatever that does, I don't know. And then let's go into research and we will go for a blockbuster camera. Now, is that better than a professional camera? This, it just is so confusing. I wish they were in some sort of grade or some sort of values about this to tell me exactly what is good and what isn't good. CGI, I mean, that sounds fantastic. We can chuck CGI into things. Do we get that for visuals? Because all these things we can't use right now because they're not built into our technology kit. So we might just have to wait for a few of these. Oh, hang on, right. let's get a new theme. Let's get, oh no, we got aliens, didn't we? Oh, let's get a new, new theme. Uh, dragons, that sounds fun. Aliens and dragons, we'll do that. Right, Jim is back. Jim, can you do some research, please? Oh, I don't know which one to do. Can you research interactive story? Which it sounds quite futuristically advanced, but okay, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, you research interactive story, please. Hey, boss, you know soon is my big day. 
Leah and me will finally marry. Could I get some vacation? You're always on vacation anyway. Yes, everybody's on vacation. You're always away. <laughs> Go get married, Red. Right, we've finished the research of dragons. You've done interactive story. Red's off getting married. Congratulations, Red. Good job. And eventually, eventually, da da. Right, okay. Right, can we do a big commission for somebody again? Or did we, was that a commission or was that ours? That was ours, wasn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's raking in the money. Yeah, we'll do a commission then for 705 grand. Um, oh, it's absolutely free for everybody, is it? Right, okay. <laughs> oh, good. Right, except that. Oh, look. A target audience thing has appeared. Oh, right. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Right, we need to pick a theme. Uh, I mean, we could do aliens in space. Or in the future. Future aliens. And make it an 18 plus. So it might relax some of the audience. But you know. It could, that, that could be a different type of thing. You know. Maybe we could make it sort of all gory and terrifying. A bit like. I don't exactly know what. The uh, age rating is for like Game of Thrones. I imagine it's 18 plus. Given the amount of gore and nudity. And rumpy pumpy that goes on in that program. I imagine that must be an 18. So we'll have a futuristic aliens thing. Uh, I will direct. You lovely, lovely. I need better scores. I need better writing scores. Look, Jim's, Jim's, oh, actually, Jim's sound score is pretty rubbish. Actually, everyone's scores are pretty rubbish. Can everyone get better, please? Right, there we go. And technology kit. We'll have to pick that one for now. Right, okay. Aliens in the future. We're going to call this Bore of the World because the aliens have arrived. But the thing is about the aliens is that they're so boring. They've got no sense of humour. They've got no kind of style or charisma. They don't like music. They don't like dancing. They don't like anything. The aliens that we've discovered are incredibly boring. So this alien futuristic thing is all about us on Earth trying to get the aliens in to do some exciting things. They're like Vulcans from Star Trek, but even more boring and tedious than that. You know, they don't smile or anything. So bore of the world. Let's go and make this, shall we? So the plan is we'll do this. We'll finish bore of the world and then we'll do the research and then we shall make a new technology kit. I think that's what we need to do because our old one is now, what, three years old already. So yeah, look at the research points all flying up this is a big project as well which is nice so we'll be able to get some more research points from this which is very encouraging uh just about when this gets to here as well when the progress bars along here we will then do some advertising for this just to make sure that people know about bore of the worlds because it's very exciting we want lots of people to know all about it right uh aliens I'm going to assume action is going to be pretty prevalent in an alien thing so if we drop complexity down to something like that uh, I kind of want more action. Even more action I kind of would like. Let's bring humour down to 10. Like that. Yeah, like that. So it's not funny. It's not funny in any way. Now in my head, that would be funny. Bore of the Worlds would be a funny thing. But in this, it's all going to be about action. Because this is how the game works. But the humour, when the humour's in it, it is absolutely amazing. It's hilarious. But uh, there's plenty of action with the aliens zooming about boring everyone to death. And we have to try and sort of evade them in our ships. That I know might be like clown cars that they just really despise because they're just you know full of wacky and fun things and the alien spaceships can just be big grey rectangles or something. So uh, yeah, there we go. That'll do. I think that's about right <laughs> for this. I'd quite like to see Bore of the Worlds. I think it'd be a good thing. Again, our writing is terrible. It's terrible. Can we train people up to be better at multiple skills? We could do with another writer. I thought levelling me up would be good. Um, interview request of Florian Lawichai. Hello. I'm Geeky Teapot. We have heard you focus now on individual tiger groups. Could we get a short interview? Yes, absolutely. Hello? <laughs> would you like me to comment on this or is that it? Can we get an interview? Yes. Splendid. Bye. Thanks for your time. Okay. Oh dear. Right. Ah, now this is the chance for Tim Bruce to make his appearance. In fact, hang on. Hang on. There's me saying nobody knows Tim Bruce because he's got no popularity or anything, but his numbers, because he's new, because he's a newly created person, are way higher than all our other ones. So Bakachu is a level five person that's been in 17 programs and is the current star still of Damage Gym, I'm a surgeon, not a doctor. With an intelligence of 30, Tim's bravery is already 44. Good grief. But yes, Tim Bruce, it's time for you to make your first appearance in Boar of the World. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, this has got to be good. This has got to be good. Because we'll get some money from it. We'll get a big payoff for it. And also, we then get money for it as well, which is a bit weird. 
It's a bit weird because I thought the commission would be, there you go, you got paid your money, clear off. But we get paid the money for the viewing as well. Right. That's coming up to there quite nicely. Let's do some marketing. Joe, you know what? Let's just do some TV marketing on it. Let's do that. Oh, look at it. International campaign, 8 million. Let's do some TV marketing. Who knows how long that lasts? Right, yeah, all this stuff. I'm tempted to put somebody in there to help boost the story up a bit. Uh, Jim into sound. Penge, the terrible director. Claire, the camera person. Let's do that. Let's put Red and Penge down into there just to bring that up a little bit. There we go. Look, it's brought it up slightly more representative of the others. Uh, professional camera, professional sound. Yeah, okay, that all looks good. We'll do all that sort of stuff. Okay, tech cost, marketing, staff cost. We've only got over 3 million now. Hurrah, 208 research points, 211 more. Right, get rid of these errors. Iron out the mistakes. Oh, the writing has gone way up. That is brilliant. So the only thing that might bring this down is the protagonist because nobody knows who they are. That's the only thing that I can see people sort of going, oh, I don't like it. Right, lots of stuff happening. Right, we're finished. We are done. Blockbuster Camera V2 has got to be better than Professional Camera V2. Professional Sound, Blockbuster Sound. But why would you get Professional Sound and Blockbuster Sound? Blu-ray and Teamwork. Why are we still in office with VHS cassettes if we've got Blu-ray? Does not compute. Okay, right. Let's see how this went. So a new theme, a new protagonist, an awesome combination. Right, this is encouraging. Awesome combination is good. How good is this going to be? Oh, Tim has leveled up already. Um, let's push his bravery up to there. And let's give you a point of intelligence. Just to round it off to 30. Beautiful. Right. What's it going to be like? I, I don't... I'm not going to be as good as our last one, I don't think. I think we might be good. An average of 8 would be lovely. <gasps> 8.5. Are we actually getting vaguely good at this? <laughs> the setting theme combination Future Aliens was phenomenal. Yes, I thought if I put Aliens on a farm, you might not have liked it so much. Penge was very good. Story was okay. Tim Brewers was good. Tim Brewers is always good. He's a new new superstar. Um, both of the worlds can be created by the staff. You've reached the minimum thing. Right, so we got paid. And now we should see the money coming in as well. Oh, look at the amount of viewers. <laughs> look at the viewers. We'll do Bore of the Worlds. Okay, research-wise. Let's see what we can do with this. Then. Let's see if we can get good research. Oh, teamwork. 500k and 100 research points. Whoa. Okay, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of the monies. Um, I think 200 research points for Professional Sound V5. Let's get Blockbuster Sound V1. Um, and there's only Blockbuster Camera V2. Where's Blockbuster Camera V1? Have we already got that? Let's get Blockbuster Camera there. <laughs> Let's get... You can do the sound research. Um, oh, no, that was... Oh, that took up an awful lot of research points, did it? Oh, botherations. Okay. Ah, oh, never mind. How about then, instead of simple sound we have surround sound because that's got to be a better sound thing so we'll have that right so we'll do all this stuff dum -da -dum -da -dum. you're doing the report thing are you yeah you're doing that uh there it is is the first series from geeky teapot optimized for a target group oh i, I think maybe the, the name of the series is supposed to be in there okay <laughs> harrison benz has finished that what am I doing? Am I doing the thing? Future Aliens is a perfect combination. Thank you for those wise words that I could have possibly worked out on my own, but never mind. Right. Can we train anybody with those remaining points? Uh, no, we need 80. Oh, crikey. Okay, yeah, we're a little way off that. Okay. Is there anything else we can do? Is there anything else we can do right now? I don't think there is. Right. Let's make a new technology kit. And let's be a bit selective about what we put in this. So we can put those two things in. And we can put the cheap characters and the sidekicks in. All those things can go in. So interactive stories, author assistance, linear stories. Surely we don't need linear story if it's an interactive story. Let's take linear story out. Right, and now we have to pick what we want to do with these. So professional sound V3, I think is better. And surround sound. So I bet we can't, we can have all of this. This is just where I get confused. I would say surround sound is better than quality sound. Uh, that's my reasoning. So I'd like surround sound with professional sound. And then let's have HD boost with a blockbuster camera, but then do we want visual quality? Because that might mean that you know, you tidy up your visuals. Let's put quality sound in as well. I don't really understand. <laughs> we'll see what they do. Oh, it's just, this just doesn't make any sense. It's just completely out of context. And where does my green screen come in? <laughs> How do I use my green screen? I want my shiny green screen to do something. So we've not got linear story. 
We've not got simple sound or mono perspective. Multi-camera, professional camera have gone in favor of blockbuster camera. Professional sound V3 has got to be good. So we've not got the simple sound of the advanced. So yeah, okay, I, th I think that's fine. Right, technology kit number four. What do we call the last one? Shiny tech. Shiny tech number four. That'll do, because it's our fourth one. Yes, please, go and create this. You'll also generate some more research points, I think. If we get up to 80, we'll train somebody. Oh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anywhere near 80, does it? Might get to half. Oh, there you go, 44. Nah, eh, whatever, 45, that's fine. Right, new kit created. Yay. Okay. Uh, oh, you're still doing stuff. Okay, fun. Right, you're, you're tired. You're going to want to go on vacation soon, aren't you? Which is a little bit tedious. Bore of the Worlds is bringing in some nice monies, though. We're still in this office. Do you know what? Do you know what? I think, let's finish up for now. We'll finish up at this moment in time. The next thing we do, the next thing we make, I think will hopefully give us a massive pile of cash and then we'll be able to do big, exciting things and move out of the office. Let's just check how much big projects is. I think we need to do one of those. I think we need to do our own big project with, with, so we need 120 research points, 120K I'm not that bothered about. So we need to get 120 research points. So maybe this can be our goal for next time. We will get ourselves this here, big projects, then we'll do a big project. And hopefully, I mean, we could sort of maybe unlock a couple of these. Our teamwork would be quite nice to have. That's another 100 research points. But I bet that ups your sort of numbers when you use the teamwork thing in the screening. I bet that makes it just a lot higher. But um. So yeah, I think that's what we do next time. Get big projects, do a massive project. We've got 3.8 million monies. So we'll do a big project and then we'll see how it goes from there. But in that big project, we'll use the new technology kit again and we'll hopefully be able to you know, throw in a lot of stuff, maybe do some big advertising on it and all that kind of stuff. And we shall see how it goes from there. But yeah, let's wrap up for now with Boar of the World still bringing in the viewers and the fans and all that kind of stuff. It's going very, very well. If I hang on, can we just, can we just roll it around until we get to 4 million? That'd be a nice even thing to do, wouldn't it? Hello, time, there we go, <laughs> there we go. Come on, four million, yay. <gasps> do you want to change your office for 1.8 million? You needed four million, oh yes, absolutely, absolutely, I do. I wanna move out of this place <laughs> with its VHS cassettes and its old monitors, yes. Oh, I'm glad we did that. <gasps> okay, right, it's more modern now and it still has exactly the same things in it. Apart from on the wall now, it's got Rick and Morty, or whatever they might be called in this program. Why they're still VHS cassettes? <laughs> Don't understand. Ah, we can put another facility in here now though. We could buy the massive sound system. That might be worth doing. Or staff management. Do we save up a hundred research points and a million monies and put that in rather than a massive sound system? I don't know. But do you know what? We've moved into a new office. T Tis a glorious moment, I think. Now is the perfect time to finish up. We've spent some of our monies. We've got a new office. It looks, I'll be honest, disappointingly similar to the previous office. <laughs> but never mind, never mind. It's all good. Let's come back next time and see what we can do. Let's see if we can make even more money to get to the next limit to move into a new, slightly bigger office. That would be lovely. But for now, we shall finish up. Hopefully, you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe if you're not already to keep up to date with how we get on in the, in the nonsense that is series makers. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered and I will see you next time. The pyramids was built far away, the terracotta was built far away and the Great Wall was built far away. Far away sounds like a very good place to go, doesn't it? Greece, you handsome devil Alexander. Hello there. King Nipplehead is not at the bottom of the table. I'm above him. Oh, and that was a rather ill-advised move.